gonna need you to take care of the angel. I want him in bed before 10. All right, mom. All right, be safe. Make sure to lock the doors. inside the house. I'm not kidding. Oh my gosh. Did I, did I not tell you the long hours before no, I not the time. I think somebody's inside the house. Okay. Yeah, Angel. Get to a safe place. I'm five minutes away. I'm calling the police. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What's going on? People up there. I'm scared, man. The police better be on their way. Where's mom? I, I don't know. She said she was on her way. I'm scared. Why would that be? <laughs> Andrea? Angel? Are you guys okay? Where are you guys at? Mom. So tell me, what happened that day? It started out with me babysitting my little brother. My mom had gotten to work that day. I told him to go upstairs and go to sleep, and then I got a phone call from my best friend. She was terrified that these people had broken out of prison and that they were going in people's houses. I shrugged it off and I told her that it'd be okay. After that, I heard the back door slam shut and I knew that it wasn't my brother and I. So I got my little brother and we hid in the restroom. And um, we had called my mom. So we were waiting for her to come back. And when she did, she looked for any, you know, intruder in the house. But just when she thought we were okay, you know, they had gotten her. And um, they were coming for me, but my little brother defended me and killed him too. Uh, I don't know how I got the strength, but I managed to escape. So, do you have any suspicion of who it could have been? No, I, I only had gotten a call earlier that day from a stranger um, telling me that they were gonna come by later, but it was obviously just a stranger. Stranger? That's an odd name. I thought we were friends. What? No, please, stop. 